to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my tanning routine, finally! I know that so many of you guys have been expecting this video and waiting for this video for such a long time and as you may or may have not known, I've been trying out and testing out so many different tanners lately, also because Previously in my life, I have been a competitive dancer, but the cell tenors that we use when we're like competitive dancing, they are so freaking drying. They're just not great for everyday wear because they're so stripping on the skin, they're very drying and they're very difficult to get off as well because they are meant for you to be able to sweat in them and so on. And even though the longevity is nice, the result after you've used them, so I decided to go on the hunt for the perfect cell tanner that is both long wear, that is natural to look at, that is not orangey but more glowy, golden-ish and um, I feel like that I've found some really great ones. And today I'm also going to be sharing with you how I apply it and how I do and everything like that. As I said, I've been trying out so many different cell tanners and many of them, they are great. I have no complaints about them. There are some great like affordable ones like for example Sunkist, that cell tanner is actually really really good, I've tried that one in the color dark. However, after having tried so many different ones and failed at some and then had some great ones, I think I found my true match and the one that I really love and it is from Loving Tan. I've heard so many people talking about Loving Tan on the internet, on YouTube, on blogs as well and I was so fortunate that Loving Tan, they actually contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their products and I was just like, yes! And this video, by the way, is not sponsored by Loving Tan, they have nothing to do with this video at all. I just really wanted to share my tanning routine with you guys because you have been requesting it so many times now. And um, I'm using Loving Tan now, I love it, I am in love with Loving Tan. And I think that I love it because A, it is really, really long wear, B, it is instant like tanning, you can see the color instantly, and C, it dries in really, really quickly. I mean, it's not one of those really sticky self tanners that are just like, you can't move, you can't do anything because they're just very, very sticky. It dries in so quickly and I really like that. And also just the color, this one is very, Olivey, it is not one of those very orangey colors, at least not in my mind. I really like that it. it's very olive goldy in its undertones. And this one is also paraben free, it's alcohol free, and it's also vegan friendly. So, all in all, it's just an amazing self tan in so many different ways. And I would say that when I tan, I want to look tan. So, I go for the ultra dark version. You can also get a dark version and a medium version. However, as I said, when I tan, I want to tan. I want to look tanned and I want to look good and I want to look bronzed and everything like that. So I always go for the ultra dark or dark shades because that's my preferred way of looking when I'm wearing fake tan. So before I fake tan I always make sure to take a long hot shower because I want to get rid of any excess old uh, fake tan on my skin and also just to exfoliate my skin and I'm using the exfoliating mitt also from Loving Tan. This one is great because it really exfoliates really nicely without being stripping on the skin, it's not too harsh. And I just use this one with some shower gel on my legs and my arms just to make sure that everything is nicely exfoliated. And I exfoliate a little bit extra those places where I've got some rough patches or dry patches on my skin just to make sure that everything is nice and even and smooth. <laughs> and after I've been exfoliating my skin I make sure to shave my legs as well just to make sure that those small spiky hairs on the legs, I'm sorry, TMI, I know, but just to make sure that they won't make any mess of the cell tenor. And when I get out of the shower, I make sure to obviously get dry and everything like that, and then I moisturize the hell out of my skin. I actually moisturize my entire body. I just make sure to moisturize a little extra those places where I'm a bit drier. So for example, on my hands or elbows or knees or my feet or something like that. Just those places where you're extra dry and if you've got some dry patches as well on the skin, make sure to double moisturize those places. And the moisturizer that I really like right now is the Clarins Moisture Rich Body Lotion with Shea Butter. It's for dry skin, I just really like this one and I like the smell as well. But obviously you can use whatever kind of body lotion, body moisturizer, body butter that you've got and that you prefer. I just really like this one. So when I fake tan, I always use a mitt and you can get many different mitts from different places. The one that I've got here is from Loving Tan and this one is by far my favorite because it's below. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really nice and very soft and puffy. I don't know if you can see the texture on it, but it just really 
blends in the cell tanner so nicely, it's not streaking at all and I'm just using circular motions to blend it in onto the skin and when you use this mitt it is not going as streaky or anything like that and also if I do have a tiny bit of streakiness going on I just pat on my skin just to make sure that there's no streaks or anything like that and this one is just it's amazing I I really highly recommend this tanning mitt or just mist that I've made like velour-ish. When I do apply self tan in my face, I use a brush and this is actually a technique that I saw Jacqueline Hill using and I was just like, that is so smart because obviously the tanning mitt, it is very like big and you can't really get into those small angles on the face and so on and it's just going to be streaky and not that nice looking. So a brush is really, really nice. Remember that it has to be synthetic. I'm just using one from Sedona Lace. This one is the one called 602. A really nice brush for that and um, then I just use it just to buff in the self tanner and I tend to stay away from the inside of my um, face until the very last moment where I've just got a tiny bit left on my um, brush and it really works well as you can see it doesn't look streaky on my skin at all it really works for me and it's a really nice tip and actually I also do this on my fingers and I would say that my hands and my fingers, those are definitely the places that I've got the hardest time doing cell tanning. For some weird reason, my fingers and my hands, they just soak up all of the tan and it just, my fingers and my hands, they always end up being a tiny bit darker than the rest of my body, unfortunately. So using a brush really allows me to get the right amount of product onto my um, fingers and my hands as well without it going way too cray cray. And I actually do take like a kitchen roll or something like that and then I just go on my um, knuckles and stuff like that just to make sure there's no excess tan on my hands. And that was actually all for my tanning routine. I really hope that this could help you guys and um, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you've got any nice tips for me and if you've tried any other self tanners out there that are amazing, let me know as well because I'm obviously always on the hunt for the perfect self tanner and yeah, thank you so much for watching, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff and I'll see you guys very soon.